Hello everyone and welcome to Fogmaster's vlog for the Warhammer for the Palsam gaming system created by Games Workshop based in the UK and welcome to another Midway update today it is the 22nd of October 2013 and I thought it was a long time since I actually showed what I'm actually doing for what kind of projects I'm doing at the moment so yeah let's start at the beginning um, as you guys already remember from my 10th painting guide is that I've been doing some trade card uh, hopefully I will get around to do the first episode in that second spin-off se uh, series where I'm gonna show you my first squad of trade guardsmen uh, here are my currently latest models which are in progress they're gonna become two Emperor Children's trade guard he's gonna be holding a last gun and he's gonna be holding this Meltagun, which is from my former Imperial Guard army. I'm gonna repaint it into a more, into a more um, adaptable, more plausible, more slanish like. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing with that one of these. So let's move over to the next part. And that's gonna be this. No, this model. Uh, I'm doing my uh, 13th painting guide, which is about a uh, possessed Night Lord. As you can see here. You've already seen uh, s slight parts of it, him appearing in the previous videos. Uh, let's check out. Uh, Let's check out uh, the different heads. First, we have this bull-like head. Then we have my more favorite one, which looks completely sinister, especially in this, in with these colors. It's a work in progress, so I still have some uh, things left to do before I'm finished with it. After that, we have my 14th painting guide, which is possessed world bearers. Two of them to be exactly. You also seen them in previous midway updates. I, th I would think I'm gonna be finished with them tomorrow, perhaps. I'm not entirely certain so far. Yeah, and after that we have these two. This one's gonna become an emperor's. Uh, it's gonna be a world eater. Uh, if you remember from my old videos, from I think it's video number. Six or eight or something like that, where I had world eaters. I sold them all, but I still have some models left. Uh, so I'm gonna do a painting guide on this model, which at first was gonna be a Night Lord, but I changed my mind afterward because I'm actually gonna sell out that um, those models so I can profit from some other 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 boxes to say so. But uh, that will be painting guy number 16, I believe, because I've actually thought about doing some Fox and Sons in between that, but uh, we'll, we'll get onto that later on. The one next to that is um, this one, I mean. Uh, this one is gonna be an Alpha Legion, Legionnaire, and I'm gonna sell him out with the, the other uh, Corn Berserker models. Uh, so it's gonna be interesting to see how this one turns out and lastly we have this model and another one but this one first which is going to be the second last uh, member of third claw and after that i'm actually going to be finished with third claw and i'm going to be so damn happy about that and the absolute final member of third claw will be this one i'm not entirely certain if i'm going to be using both pistol and the chain axe but we will see uh, how i do about it <coughs> so far i'm sticking with that and i'm going to be using this corn head i think and now we're going to be moving over to the last part which is this happy news I've gotten myself uh, another box of Chaos Beach Marines. Yes, I feel guilty because I don't have the money actually to buy it. Buy it. Uh, 
this box is where I'm gonna be doing my last, absolutely last five Night Lords, which are not Raptors, because I'm, I have to do five more Raptors as well when I get all these parts from bitsandkits.co.uk. But this box contains the absolute last uh, Emperor Children, and also it has the first five Thousand Sons, which I'm planning on doing. Uh, the reason why I'm, I want to do some Thousand Sons is because after reading Iron Man Exile, which will be a book review coming up soon, I was instantly hooked on uh, the Thousand Sons, or well I've been before, but now I, was, now I have to do models about them. So this will be the first step in that project as well. But I will not even open this box until I'm completely finished with these models. But yeah, so that's pretty much it I have to say. Yo, oh, one last thing. Uh, I have a happy announcement to say, and that is that my uh, channel has reached 92 subscribers, and we are above around 11,000 views. And I want to really thank everyone who is contributing to this by looking at my videos, who is subscribing. I want to thank you very much for that. It's very appreciated. You, all of you are appreciated by me. So, yeah. That's everything I had to say for this video update. Thank you very much for watching this. Don't forget to rate and subscribe my videos. Please give a thumbs up. And also leave comments on things I'm doing good so we keep on doing them. And leave negative critique on things I'm doing bad so they do improve or remove the content entirely. And share this with your friends if you think they would be interested in, in seeing some painting guides, projects and models display videos and perhaps get some ideas. I actually got the comment the other day for a guy who said he, he thought it was a cool thing I did with my Imperial Guard heavy weapons with the part of a road at the end of the base. But anyway, moving on. Thank you very much everyone. So, death to the false emperor. Bye!